In this video, we're going to create a couple more get routes for our profile. So right now we can get the current user's profile. Um, we can also add or edit a user profile. Now I want to create a couple more routes. And one of those is going to be to get the profile by the handle. One is going to be to get by, by the ID. And I also want to create a route that's going to fetch all the profiles and serve them as a JSON array. Okay, so let's go right above our post request here. I'm going to copy the header and the route is going to be it's going to be a get request and it's going to be uh, API slash profile slash handle slash and then the actual handle. OK, now remember, this is a back end route. Our front end to actually get to the, the, the front end page will be slash profile slash and then the handle. So slash like Brad Traversy or, or whatever, whatever they use as their handle. We're not actually going to have to put the word handle in the in the route in the in the browser. This is a back end API route. OK, so this gets hit by our front end. Um, it's not actually used by the user. So here, let's just put a description. We'll say get profile by handle and then it's going to be a public route because the way I want it to work is is anyone can see profiles. OK, whether they're logged in or not or signed up or not, they should be able to see the profiles. Um, so we're going to make this public. So we're not going to need to have this right here. Passport authenticate. So and, and of course you can change that if that's not the, the the workflow that you want. If you want it to be private and people have to be logged in to see profiles, you can always edit this application. Um, and that goes for for anything. If you want to change anything around, that's absolutely fine. Um, I would actually encourage you to to look at doing different things and especially adding on to it, you know. Um, and there's a very good chance that I might continue on after. Um, after this course is released to update it to add things like subscribers and things like that because I want this to be um, a, a pretty a pretty important application um, in, in my career in general not just in this course all right so let's say slash um, we're already in API slash profile so let's do handle slash colon handle and this is basically a placeholder. Of course, this will always be different uh, depending on what the user's handle is. And we can just go ahead and put our arrow function here. It's not it's a it's a public route, so we don't need the passport middleware here. And let's pass in request response. Oops. And then what we want to do is just use our profile model. Sorry about that, guys. Let's use our profile model and let's say find one, which we've used before. And we want to find this time by the handle. And the way that we can get the handle from the URL is by using request.params.handle. So that's going to grab this, okay? Whatever this is in the URL. And it's going to match that to the handle in the database. And it's going to find one. OK, now when we get the profile, I want to populate it with some of the user stuff just like we did here. OK, so I can actually copy this line and put it here before we do our dot. Then that way we get the name and the avatar as well. Then we can basically catch our promise and it'll give us a profile. OK, and of course, we have to check to see if there's a profile. We're actually going to check to see if there's no profile. And if there's no profile with that handle, then let's take our errors object and let's add no profile and set that to there is no profile for this user. All right, we'll just um, we'll just initialize that up here, that errors. OK, now once we create that error, we want to send it. So we'll say res status. And remember, this is a basically a, a not found error. So it's going to be a 404 status dot JSON and we'll pass in errors. OK, now if there is a profile found, then we simply want to res .json, which will return a 200 and pass in the profile. 
Okay. Um, I'm also going to put a dot catch on to this just in case something goes wrong internally and we'll say error and we'll set that to a res dot status and we'll say 404 dot Jason and I'm just going to pass in um, you know what let's pass in errors. No, let's let's just pass in the error. That's whatever whatever is returned here will send. OK, so that's it. That's pretty simple. Um, now what we want to do is pretty much the same thing, but by the ID because we're going to need that internally. So I'm going to copy. Oops. I'm going to copy everything we just did. So we'll go right below. And this one is going to be API profile and we're going to do user slash colon user underscore ID. OK, so we'll say get profile by user ID and that this is also going to be uh, public. All right. Now, instead of searching by the handle, we're going to search by user. And we're not going to do request.userid because we don't want just the logged in user. We want whatever user is passed in. Okay, so that'll be request.params dot user underscore id. Actually we have to change this route here. So user user slash user underscore id. And this should actually have a colon in front of it like that. Okay, so Again, we want to populate with the name and avatar. We'll have the same error if it's not found. Everything else is going to be the exact same. All right, so let's save this and let's let's go ahead and test it out. So we're going to go. Let's see. This shouldn't work anymore if I it's unauthorized because this it's actually the next day now. So this token has expired. Remember, we set it to expire after an hour. If you set it not to expire or you set it to expire after a week or something, this would have still worked. So it's, it's up to you on on how long you want your tokens to last. Um, so what I'm going to do is test what we just did. So we'll say API profile slash and I believe John Doe is our is the handle for for that user. And we don't need this authorization token because this is a public route. So let's try this. Um, cannot get API profile John Doe. That's because we need to do handle slash John Doe. And there we go. So now we have a, a public API um, route to get a profile by the handle. Now, if I put something here that doesn't exist, like John Doe's, let's send, we get there is no profile for this user. So that's working perfectly. Um, let's get John's ID, user ID, which is right here. And we should be able to also get the profile by that. Okay, so if we say profile slash user slash and then the ID and send, there we go, we get the same thing. And if I add something to this so it's not a valid ID, OK, so this is actually coming from the mongoose error and this is fine. I mean, I'll just I'll leave this as as the error. We could put our we could put a custom error. I guess maybe we should do that, actually, because just to be just to, just to be consistent. Um, yeah, let's go back and I'll show you exactly where this is coming from. It's coming from right here that error is coming from this. So what we could do is just change this to um, we'll just we'll just stick it in here like profile. There is no profile for this user. All right, so now if we try this again and we send we get that same error, OK, which I guess it's better to do it this way because it's it's consistent as to the error if the handle isn't there. All right, um, because it just it treats it different if we're searching by something like a handle than it does by the ID. Um, the ID will actually throw the dot catch error. So now what I want to do is uh, let me get this out of here. 
is um, create a route that's going to get all of the profiles because we want a, a, a page that's going to list all the profiles. So let's see, we're going to that route will be API slash profile slash all and it's going to be pretty simple. So let's put this one right above the handle. All right, so we'll say API profile slash all and we'll say get all profiles and this is also going to be public so we'll do router dot get it's going to be uh, API profile slash all and in here what we're going to do is say profile and we're going to use dot find okay not find by one because we're, we're, we're fetching more than one if if there is um, and then we also want to again populate with the name and the avatar from the user collection so we'll paste that in and then we'll do a dot then not them a dot then and it's going to give us profiles okay plural and then actually we don't need curly braces because all we're doing is res.json. Uh, yeah, well, you know what? Let's let's actually do this. Let's say if no profiles, then let's do return res.status 404 dot Jason you can see this a lot of this is very repetitive it's just getting certain resources um, and then we'll pass in here let's do we'll just grab this here so we'll say there are no profiles all right we'll initialize that errors to here and then pass in errors. Okay, now if there is, then we're just going to res.json and pass along profiles. Okay, and let's also do a catch. We'll do the same thing we did right here. Um, actually, let's let's create our own error. So what we did here And I actually didn't need. Oh no! I never mind. Never mind. We'll just grab that. And we'll say there are no profiles. Okay. So let's save that, and we'll give it a shot. So we're going to do profile, API profile slash all. And you can see we have an array. We see the bracket here. Now we only have one profile. So if we want, uh, we do have two users. Remember, we have the Brad user as well. So we can create a profile for him. We need to first log in. So let's change this data to what did I use? I think I used Tech Guy Info. Send that so we get our token. Now we'll use this to make any request to a protected route. Let's see, what do I have open here? Um, yeah, so this is the this is the route to create a profile. So let's just add our authorization. We'll change it from this old token to the new one. And let's go to the body and change some things up. The handle will say Brad Traversy. Whoops. status I'm going to say instructor skills uh, we'll keep these skills we'll add on Python uh, let's add Ruby and company Traversy media website 
change the Twitter here. Let's actually make this an all out profile that has like everything. So also add what uh, LinkedIn. My LinkedIn, I believe, is IN slash Brad Traversy. Feel free to follow me or connect with me. Um, Instagram. I should be using HTTPS, but it's fine. So Instagram is Traversy Meteor as well. Let's do GitHub username. So GitHub username. Uh, what else do we have? We had a bio. Instructor on Udemy and YouTube. Uh, what else do we have for profile fields? Hmm. We also had one second. Let me just refresh my memory. Let's see. Website handle. I think that's. Yeah, I think that's pretty much everything except education and experience with which is not added through this route. Those we're going to have our own uh, different route for that. So let's try this. Let me just make sure everything is correct. And we have our, our new token for Brad and that should be good. So let's send. And there's our profile. So you can see it includes everything I added, including all the social, uh, the social object here. All the skills are in an array, bio, GitHub username, good. So now let's go back to profile all, which is right here. Let's send again. And now we have both profiles, okay? It's an array of profile objects. All right, so that's gonna be it for this video, guys, and I will see you in the next.